Hey folks, what a gorgeous day across the valley today. Blue skies, humidity still somewhat low. The wind's light now picking up a little bit out of the east at about 14, but the dew point's 50, so humidity only 51%. Temperatures upper 60s and low 70s, and we will cool off nicely tonight, but not as cool as the last few nights. Tonight we'll bottom out in the 50s, pretty much every place with the exception of the island, about 60 there. So a cool night across the region. And then tomorrow, after starting at those numbers, we'll warm back to these numbers. Highs tomorrow afternoon back in the 70s, but tomorrow instead of a clear blue sky, we'll start to see some clouds moving in. A lot of high clouds coming from the west, and there's some stuff coming up from the south as well. East southeasterly wind brings the moisture back in again. Normal high temperature for this time of year is 80. We're not going to make it. 75, 77, and then a front cools it off for Monday and keeps that chance of rain with us into the early part of next week. Now, satellite doesn't show a whole lot right now, but we think it'll start to show some clouds later on. We're already seeing some out to the west on Sky 5, and I think they'll be kind of sneaking in overnight. And then during the daytime tomorrow, the uh, skies kind of go gray. We just go mostly cloudy. Don't think we'll see much in the way of rainfall tomorrow. I think tomorrow should still be a dry day because it's going to take a long time to get enough moisture in here to really get anything going. But then on Sunday, and the model's not really in agreement on what time this front's going to come in, but it doesn't really matter. The moisture is going to thicken up. When that moisture thickens up and it eventually starts to rain, temperatures will drop a bit. And then when the front comes in, whether it's late Sunday or early Monday, temperatures will cool off and it'll just stay cool and cloudy and damp all the way into Monday and probably into uh, Monday night, maybe even Tuesday as well. Some leftover stuff then. These are current temperatures. 67 in Austin, same thing in Dallas. 70 in Laredo right now. Odessa 64 in Dalhart at 63. So obviously no big strong front in Texas right now. There's no real cold weather anywhere in the state. That'll change a little bit though. Look at the high clouds coming from the west. You can see them coming off the uh, Pacific Ocean across Mexico and beginning to move into our western sky already. Not seen in this picture just to the south. A bunch of low clouds are going to get pulled northward by the low pressure coming in, which is coming in in the form of this front. So that moves southward. The moisture moves in. Not so much tomorrow, but Sunday showers and perhaps a thunderstorm. Best chance probably near the coast. That's where we're most likely to see the prolonged rainfall. By the time you get to Tuesday, still some spotty stuff left over, but I think our rain chances will taper off. So we're dry tomorrow, then 50-40 for Sunday and Monday. And right now, Tuesday, we're looking at probably about a 20% chance, and rain chances then kind of fade away by the end of the week. If you're traveling tomorrow, 47 in San Antonio, 45 in Dallas, these are morning temperatures, 7 a.m. By afternoon, most of the state recovers, but look, now you can tell there's a front coming in. Amber low 35 degrees by 5 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. The front on the move coming in Sunday into Monday. So tonight mainly clear and cool about 55, but then tomorrow the clouds build in. It's a mainly cloudy day. Temperatures will still be mild back to about 75 degrees during the afternoon. 75, 77, then only 67 on Monday, courtesy of the front cooling things off. And here we go through the rest of the week. By Thanksgiving, I think the rain chance fades away. The temperatures stay mild, 71 now. We've taken it down again, but still a comfortable day. A lot of clouds probably won't see much in the way of rainfall on Thanksgiving. That is your updated First Word 5 forecast.